Hi, my name is Okira Farouf, reporting from Platform Media International, Lagos, Nigeria. And I'm here, I'm live at Empire VIP House on Wheels reality TV show, season one. Can you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, my name is Icepack, AM number 3608, and the first female king. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So what do you have here? What's, what's going on? This is my staff of office, so of I have to always be with this, yes, this is my authority. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Okay, so, um, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do outside the house? I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah, and, oh, nice, nice. So, what has been your experience so far? Um, well, I've had lots of experiences. First, first of all, mm. I've learned to live with people, Okay. you know, like, being in a confined environment with different people, yeah. you know, with different mentality, mm. different habits, and all that. I've, I've just learned to live with everybody. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. So, what, 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 um, what are your challenges? Well, challenges I have is, um, you know, some people tend to invade in your space, your privacy. <laughs> Of okay. course, you know, you, you don't tend, you're not, you're not in your house, so, mm. you know, things don't, I may want, I may keep a particular thing here and I'll come back, I won't meet it. Mm. Or maybe I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to prove a point, I'm trying to do something, then somebody else will counter me and all mm. that, misunderstandings. But apart from that, we are cool. Everybody, you know, they are all nice. There's this team spirit and love amongst nice. us. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. Okay, so, what are your expectations? Well, um, my expectation, I expect um, to win the show, of course. I, <laughs> I have a lot that I want to use the money to do. Right. And of course, apart from that, I actually came here for, you know, the fame, the publicity. Okay. This is a platform for me to show myself to the oh, world, nice. you know, nice. like the world gets to see me. Mm. Even though I don't win the grand prize, it's still a win for me because mm. I've learned a lot. Yeah. I'm very, very sure I'm not leaving this place the same way I came. Nice. So if you win, what would you do with the money? Just one thing. I've always had this passion for um, creating solutions to needs. And one of the greatest things I want to do right now is um, plus size women. <laughs> I okay. always say that I've been asked many times. I'm very, very concerned about plus size women. Okay. Because um, it's one of the major challenges in Nigeria. Mm. Because um, there's no boutique or you know that's a plus size person you know i'm talking a plus yeah, size like on the yeah. bigger side can walk in and get a nice dress especially underwears i'm mm. I'm, I'm specific about that underwears. yeah so getting this money now i'm going to plus size clothing nice. i want to make plus size women feel sexy in their body wow. Wow. i want to make them i want to make them know or feel beautiful you get nice. yeah good stuff good stuff all right so uh, what if you don't win if i don't win fine as I said earlier, apart from the money and the grand prize, I've learned a lot. Mm. And the reason why I was actually interested in this show um, is not like the other regular shows. It's because of the entrepreneurship that is in it. Okay. You know, in Nigeria, you, we all need entrepreneurs. Mm. Do you understand? Apart from the white collar job, mm. we all need entrepreneurs. And entrepreneurs boost the, biz, um, the so economy. You learned, yeah. uh, you learned business related stuff here? Business related entrepreneurship, you know, you. Nice. For you to actually see um, business opportunity in virtually everything. Mm, okay. You know? Yeah. Nice, nice. Like we went for a tax and we we're giving money ten thousand naira, <laughs> and we went into the market. We bought stocks and we we're able to resell that and we made times two of that money. Wow. You know, just for you to see a business opportunity. Then. Nice. Yeah. Really nice. Really nice. All right. Thanks for joining me, and I wish you good luck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Good evening. My name is Werabi Egolo Simeon. I'm Simi for sure. Oh, I'm nice. a professional photographer and a singer, gospel singer. 
Okay, okay, nice. Okay, so uh, what has your experience been like so far in the house? Well, it has been a beautiful experience um, because I've been in a closed and a confined space with um, people I have no clue I'd ever know in my life. Mm. I've been with um, people from different culture, different ethnicity, and um, it has been good all the way. It has nice, been good, yeah, nice, no regrets. Nice, nice. Okay, so what would you say your challenges are? Well, challenges for now, the one I've had and the one I was able to overcome was the fact that um, since we grew up from different, you know, background, background mm. different ethnicity, you know, there is every tendency that um, I'll do something that you wouldn't like and you'll do something I wouldn't like. And then the, the key and the, the aim is to disagree to agree, mm. you know. I've, 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 I've had issues with people, but so far we are in a confined environment. We, we're still going to see ourselves over and over and over again. Nice. And the, one of my driving life is love. Okay. Love, regardless of, you know, where the person is coming from. Mm. And, yeah, that's just it. Mm. Disagreeing and agreeing. Awesome, nice. So, uh, what are your expectations? <laughs> My expectations for this, actually, this, this is a platform to explore, mm. to sell myself, to let people of the nations of the earth to know what I am, mm. what I do, what I stand for. Okay. And uh, my expectation right now is that um, my life will never remain the same. Wow. And I'm not saying this because I'm a Christian. I'm saying this because I'm real. You know, I've gotten to know some things that I've not known. Mm. I've gotten to, you know, eat some food that I have no clue I'll be able to eat. <laughs> I've gotten to, you know, learn some language, body language, you know, how to accommodate people yeah. from different backgrounds. Nice. And that's a beautiful one. Mm. I think that is what life is all about. Of course, exploring. Yeah. Mm, nice. So, what would you do if you, if you win? <laughs> that's, that's really a tough one. Well, if I win, should I say if or when I win? If I win, God be praised. Winning is not my right. Mm. Winning is a privilege, a golden privilege. Uh, I, I say this because um, initially it was about 6,000 people that applied for this and then um, when 6, I got 6,000 wow. different people that's a lot yeah um, when I got the link online I applied reluctantly because I was idle that day I just applied and mm. months passed I even forgot about the program and then um, one fateful day I was sent a flyer from a strange number and I checked online I got to know that some people have been selected 200 have been selected from 6,000 it means 5,800 people have been you know and amongst the 200 people, they said they needed just 20 persons. Mm. You know, the 200 people, having, having made it to the first 200, I, I, I knew I was going to run with so many intelligent people now. The intelligence is, is good, yeah? Mm. But it's not just about the intelligence. Okay. Your social network is good, yeah? But it's not all about the social network. Mm. That's where the grace of God comes in. And yeah. I see myself as a winner. Even if, I, even if I've not touched the prize, even if I'm not going to win, I see myself as a winner because right now I'm representing my family, I'm representing my church folks, I'm representing Nigeria, I'm representing Jesus. <laughs> so I see myself as, as a winner. I'm not, in, I'm not, in, I'm not an ordinary man right now. Nice. Yeah. Nice. What would you do? You've not answered my question. <laughs> oh, what I'll do? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Five million plus the SUV is a very beautiful thing. It's a beautiful way to start yeah. my career. Um, I'll, first of all, from that 5,000, mm -hmm. 5 million, mm -hmm. my tithe first. I'm a Christian. Nice. And um, secondly, I have friends. I, I relate with um, intelligent people. Okay. It doesn't make the others I don't relate with mm -hmm. as less intelligent people. I actually relate with so many people, but I, 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 I see if the intelligent ones to, you know, gain ideas from them. Okay. I'll, in, I'll, I'll try to, you know, invest in my business, my photography business, to make me stand out. Stand out for, for and that's the first tier of it. Mm. Then I'd want to invest also. Okay. Invest also in a potential lucrative business. Okay, nice. You know, I want to buy shares also. I want to, I want my name to stand out. Nice. So you're not going it to. It may not be. It may not be for profit making. Okay. But just to create an impact. 
and also my business flies, other people's business flies. The world is beautiful, man. Oh, nice, yeah. nice, nice. So you're going strictly into business? Yeah, strictly into business. So you're not going to flex or...? Flexing will always come, <laughs> but business first. Something should stand out for me. Okay, all right, nice. Okay, uh, it was nice having you, and I wish you, I wish you the best. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. My name is Alphabet. It's the Kufre Fortune, but I like being called Alphabet. Nice. Thank so you. what do you do? Alphabet is an Afro swing artist, an investor, and also an entrepreneur. Okay, so. What has been your experience so far? Uh, well, a lot. If we, start talk, if we start talking about the experience here in the house, I think uh, you will be needing something to record more than just a mic <laughs> right now. It's amazing, yes. Because first, I've learned more about the business aspect. Okay. It's not just about the the entertainment part now. I get to understand the business in the entertainment now. You understand? Because more before I was doing more of the entertainment, I go to shows and I don't care if I get the money or not. I make the fans get happy and at the end of the day, the promoters of the show just gain it. But I got here, I was made to understand the business part of it. And now I understand that not just your passion, going for free, you can also make a living from your passion. Nice. So that's amazing. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so what would you say your challenges are? Uh, so far, my challenges has been rolling with people because Alphabet is someone that doesn't roll with a lot of people. So when I got here, there were like 26 of them. Okay. And it was really challenging for me because I am always someone that I go to the studio, yeah, you turn off the light and I'm recording just me and my producer and my sound. Like, I don't need nobody, I need my space. But here, I have to deal with every people, different people. So you have to tolerate, you have to be disciplined, you just have to accommodate people. And lastly, I learned how to love people. Wow. So that's really not easy, you know, wow. Being, doing it for the first time. Nice. So it's not easy. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so um, what are your expectations or expectations? From the show, or yeah, from the show, of course. Okay, my expectations is that uh, they just keep doing it. Because it's, it keeps on giving you hope. Mm. Like, it's letting you know that don't kill that dream, yeah? Someone is here for you. Mm. You get me? Like, look at me. I've always been someone that does my thing my way. But right here, I got the platform. Okay. I had to perform on national TV. I nice. didn't even have to pay a dime. Like, nice. I did this stuff back at home, and I paid heavily for it. Mm. But this platform, I'm like, I'm registering without even paying any money. Like, all I needed to do is just upload a video, show interest, and they are interested in me. So this is practically like, man, just come and show yourself. Wow. So that's a big up for me. Okay. So I wouldn't like them to change that because it's really, really a challenge for some people back in the hood. Nice. You get me. Nice. Amazing. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. So um, what would you do with the money if you win? I will invest in something like this more. Something yes, like this, like something like this, a, a empire, a reality TV show, oh, okay. a, a show that gives hope. Like yeah. the saying goes, yeah. we rise by lifting others. others. So yeah. I will try to give back hope because mm. they gave me hope. Now I understand that it's not just about me winning. Like okay. if I win only me and I don't win with a team, I'm not winning. Because yeah. if I fall, nobody's going to help me rise. Mm. So I will try to build a team that rise with me. Do wow. you understand? Nice. 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 Yeah. Okay, so uh, what if you don't win? <laughs> I've never lost. So if I don't go with the cash prize, you mean? Mm. Well, that's not a loss for me. <laughs> it's not a loss for me. Yeah, I, I already won first day I got in here. Mm. Because there were like 6,000 plus that, and I was selected. Yeah, I didn't even I expect it. And yeah. yeah, I was selected. So that means there's something in me. Mm. And I got here, I realized that, yo, Alphabet, you're good. Wow. These guys accept me. Like, there's been three or two evic three evictions, right? You get me? And I'm so, still yeah. here. So that mm. means, yeah, you're winning. You're a champion. So it doesn't matter who goes with it. It's like having a football team, mm. 11 players, and you have a captain. It doesn't mean the captain is the best player. Mm. It's just that you have to put someone in front there. Mm. You get me? So I, I don't lose. Nice, it's nice. just when the show ends, I know that I'm still moving up because yeah. they got my back. Empire for life, nice, sure. Nice. I like that. I like Thank that. you. Okay, so uh, I wish you good luck. <laughs>
Thank you. And I hope to see you. <laughs> Thank you. See Thank you at you. the end. See you win. Of course. Of course. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you, for you for having me. Sitting pretty. <laughs> Shit. Thank you for having me. You need that price to deliver urgently. Are there errands you need to run over time with Pemichi? Do you need those letters, report, cards, ETC delivered today? But it seems impossible. Mind your business and we will mind the rest of your business because helping you is our business. With same day delivery, we did on pick up and drop off, bulk mail delivery, errand services, and emergency delivery. Same day delivery, we deliver our packages in the most timely and efficient manner. Contact us today and we will be there. You need not to move an inch. Same day delivery, we deliver in 24 hours. Same day, speed delivery. My name is Juliet Ekesen. Okay, um, what do you do? I'm an actor. Nice, nice. Okay, so what would you say your experience or experiences have been so far in the house? Actually, it's um, mind blowing. Wow. It's, it's not, um, I was looking at something, but when I came here, it's beyond expectation. Nice. So, so far, so good, though there are so many challenges, but so far, so good. I'm, I'm liking it because this is the first time I'm actually bonding with so many persons in a house. Mm. I actually like my space though, but. Empire gave me the opportunity to bond with so many persons and um, you have to like get used to them no matter how annoying they can be because it's just a matter of some days mm. and we all live here. So, yeah. so far so good, I must say it's, it's, quite, it's quite okay. Okay, nice, mm. nice. So what would you say your challenges are being in the house? My challenges still remain the fact that if you wear your clothes, the man will just enter the room. <laughs> there is no, there is, there is no room for anyone like. Um, yes, you just be changing. Maybe your, maybe your time towards a guy will just enter, <laughs> and you won't blame them because there is no restriction. Mm. It's, it's the house that we are all sharing. Mm. So I just, that's just my major challenge. Mm. And then exercise, okay. because um, as an actor, we normally don't have the time. Either they call you, you're filming, and you can even end filming around 3 a.m. Mm. So I, I don't usually exercise every day. Okay. But ever since I got into this mansion, we exercise every morning, not just every morning, 6.30, we're all awake. 6.30 a.m. in the morning? Yes. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So these are just the two challenges. They are the fact that you'll be tying a rapper at a tower and a guy will walk in and uh, the exercise. But right now, I'm actually used to it. In okay. fact, I, I yearn for it all the time right now, yes. So it's nice, quite interesting. Nice, nice, good. So what would you do with the money? What would you do if you win? I will continue producing my own movies. I nice. want to like invest it in my own production because okay. I actually have Juliet Ekesen's production. Mm. I've done two movies so far. Nice. Yeah, so I'm trying to um, get more money to help myself in my production. And also the vehicle, the pride that I'm riding Empire vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I'm going to like drop my vehicle and ride this one. So the pride that um, the, um, the name of Empire is just round the vehicle, mm. that's my pride and that's what I'm fighting for. Nice, nice, yeah. awesome. And also to be recognized, I, want, I actually wanted to take my career to the next level. Mm -hmm. In fact, that was the major reason why I came here. Okay. Because um, even though I'm an actor, it's not everybody that knows me. Mm. I want the fact that I will come and people are like, ah, this is a case, can I snap a picture with you? And that kind of thing is actually uh, interesting. So I want to feel like that. So I believe Empire is going to give me the opportunity to to blow and mm. to be blown and okay. all that. So, okay, yeah. okay, nice, good. Thank you. So what if... <laughs> What if you do not win? What would you do? Life goes on. Nice. Yeah, but it's actually going to be sad, yeah, because I've put a, a whole a lot. lot. Mm. Yes, but you won't kill yourself. Mm. All, I, all I need to do is to um, wish the person that wins congratulations and move on. Okay. Maybe ask the person to give me small money now. <laughs> I'll be, <laughs> I'll be one million now. <laughs> but like I said, life goes on, so. Okay, yeah. all right, all right. Okay, thank you for coming. Thank you for sitting pretty. Thank <laughs> I wish you. you the best. I wish thank you good you luck. So thank you so much. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, thank you. Okay. Um, hello, good evening. My name is Sandra Uju Umbonu, popularly known as Diago. Okay, so what do you do? Okay, I'm a model, I'm also an entrepreneur. Nice, nice. So what would you say your experience or experiences have been so far in the house? Well, my experience so far, it's been nice, it's been really wonderful, like normally I'm this shy, quiet person, but I've learned to come out, communicate with different people from mm. different 
states, different background, and I learned to cohabit with different people in one in one mansion, okay. and that's why the fight, the quarrel, we still we still, still learn to make up and still <laughs> live together because we don't have an option. <laughs> We can't just ignore each other forever. So yeah, it's been a really wonderful experience so far. Nice, wonderful. So what would you say your challenges are? Well, my challenges, I, I have so many challenges, like having to live with different people in the same house, mm. fight, quarrel, and all that. But I still say that my main challenge is the evictions for me. <laughs> it still remains the evictions for me. It's Why? really What's scary. That? It's scary because you don't know who's living next and it gives me sleepless nights. So that's my greatest challenge right wow. now here in the mansion. <laughs> okay, all right. So uh, what would you do with the money if you win? Well, if I win mm. by God's grace, I would show my gratitude by visiting the less privileged first things first and okay. helping out with gift items and food stuff and all that. Mm. And then I would move on to establish my business because I, I make wigs, I'm a hair vendor, okay. I style them, I tint them, mm. I do anything that has to do with wigs, wigs hair, hair, it's my business. So mm. I'm going to establish it and then the car. Hmm. <laughs> The car would help me with easy easy movement with my products and all that. Okay, yes. nice, nice. All right. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sitting. Yeah, thank you. I wish you. you good luck. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. All right. I'm Amadi Chinyere, also known as Chile Bee. Oh, nice, nice. So what do you do? I'm a rap artist. I'm an actor and a chef. A rap artist? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um, what would you say your experiences have been so far in the house? It's been very challenging, mm. it's been fun, and I've learned a lot, basically. It's been fun. Okay, so can you tell us one or two things that you've learned? Mm, I, <laughs> I used to be a very self-centered person. Okay. But in the house, I've really learned to tolerate people. Like I, do, I didn't know how to tolerate people like... Mm. I used to be an extremely blunt person, but here the captain and the commandant taught us tolerance that you really have to tolerate people. Trust mm. me, I have. I, in fact, I'm proud of myself for the, <laughs> for the numbers of toleration That's nice. that I have. Nice, it's nice. not been easy. Nice, nice. Okay, so uh, what would you say your challenges are in the house? Mm. Any tough moments? Yes. When you have to do things that others want you to do without even knowing if you like those, those things, especially when someone is being crowned the king, and then mm. the person just maybe if you are leading in votes mm. and in something, the person be like, okay, let me get one and next you wake up, do this. You know, when you are not actually supposed to do that mm. thing, it's very frustrating. I must tell you, <laughs> very frustrating, and you can't. Say no. Say no, because uh -huh. when you say no to the king or queen, you're saying no to the captain, you're saying no to the management. <laughs> Who wants to be victim? Nice, nice. I understand. <laughs> but you just have to live with it. Yes. Okay, so what would you do if you, if you win the money? Mm. Like I earlier said, I'm an artist, so I will invest in my career. That's my number one priority. And mm. then I'll try to invest in something that will also give me return. Mm, nice, nice. Okay. So what if uh, if you do not win? <laughs> you know, so much as if I do not win, it's not in my dictionary. But in life, they say you when you have a plan A, you have a plan B. If I do not win, mm. I've always been strong. I'll always be strong for myself and everything I believe in. I'll be fine, trust me. Nice, nice. I like I'll that. even be better because <laughs> I really want to, you know, prove some of my friends wrong that even though I know win, but mm. at least I went there. Feet, yeah. You know. <laughs> nice, nice. I like that. All right. Thank, Thank you. you for coming. Thank you for sitting. I wish you good luck. Thank you so much. <laughs> I wish you good luck. I'm Ade Ele Emmanuel. Um, house number, uh, house name MC Shibambo. Oh, nice. And house number EM1810. Okay. Nice, nice. So what do you do? 
What do you do? Um, I'm an MC and uh, also a commander. Wow. And nice. I'm also into transportation too. I okay. manage car fleets. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So what, what would you say your experiences have been so far in the house? Well, it's, it's been wonderful. Like, you know, the house has been fun and it's been entertaining and it's been educating also. Mm, you know, educating. The, yes, the entrepreneurial part. Nice. So maybe after leaving this place, maybe I'll add that to my uh, car fleet management because I wasn't doing well in it, so I had to lay low on that side. Okay. So maybe after this house, I will apply some methods. Nice, nice. Good yeah. stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. So what, what are your challenges? In the house? Yes, in the house. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Well, there's no big challenges there, but the thing is, is waking up early to go for a road walk, the aerobic thing is... <laughs> <laughs> since early, it's not easy, but then... You're not a fan of exercise? Uh, yeah, to an, to an extent, it's not the right time that I want it to. <laughs> you get, you get. Okay. but then uh, I appreciate it because actually this my tummy, I think it has reduced a bit. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Aside from that, everything is fine. You know, the task, everything. It's, it's, there's reason for everything and mm. I'm enjoying the process. Mm. I'm enjoying the process. That okay. is it. Okay, so what would you do with the money, with the money if you win? The five million are... Mm, when I win, right? Mm. <laughs> okay, I will invest it on uh, transportation. Okay. Yes, and get some part uh, to get to uh, to care for the less privileged ones, mm. and then when the transportation grows, I can bring up some talent because I know we have a lot of talent in Nigeria. I mean, in this house, I've been challenged. <laughs> I've been challenged several in this house. We have a lot of talents here, wow. and in Nigeria as a whole. Mm. So that's what I'll do basically. Nice, nice, good stuff. So what what will happen if you do not win? Uh, if I, if I don't win, nothing will happen really, and it's never a loss. Hmm. It's never a loss because I've made connection, and then I've learned a lot. Just like uh, the team for the season says, room for growth. Okay. I've really grown. Mm. Yeah, I'm not where I was when I entered the house. Nice. So nice. I've grown. So it's not a loss, and the connection is there. So it, I don't know if. Um, was is it a case in that we now that I won't be able to say, hey babe, what's happening? Can we shoot together? Mm. Okay, hey, um, how far better I mean for talk of what I mean, you know, the connection is there, so there's no lose. Mm. There's no loss. Nice, nice, good. Yeah. Nice. Thank you for coming, thank you for sitting. All right, thank you. It's my pleasure. <laughs> I wish you good luck. Thank you. I wish you good luck. All right. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. All right, that was an amazing, 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 wonderful time with the bus mates from Empire VIP House on the Wheels reality TV show. Season one. <laughs> okay. I'm Ruth, reporting from Platform Media International. Keep watching. Same day delivery. Home of errands and parcel deliveries within Lagos. Thank you for choosing same day delivery. We offer emergency delivery service, pay on pickup or on delivery, convenient payment system, in short packages, value for money, and lots more. Call same day today on 090-6000-8220 or visit www.thesameday.com. Same day.